look at combining power series. How can we actually take two power series and put them together? And there are a few different ways we can do that. So let's suppose I have two power series. The summation of ck x to the k converges to my function f of x. Summation of d to the k, dk times x to the k converges to my function g of x. So how can I combine these? I have that the summation of c sub k plus or minus d sub kx k is going to converge to f of x plus or minus g of x. So I can add or subtract coefficients and it would correspond to adding or subtracting the functions. I also have that x to the m times the summation of ck x to the k, which is equivalent to the summation of ck times x to the k plus m, converges to x to the m times f of x, provided that k plus m is greater than or equal to zero for all of the terms in my series. So with these two ways of modifying these power series, it's important to note that my interval of convergence has not changed at all. For my next one, it will change. So these two, the interval of convergence stays the same as it was for the original power series. For the third one, I'm going to start by letting h of x be equal to b times x to the m, where m is a positive integer, b is a real number. Then the summation of c sub k times h of x to the k is going to converge to f of h of x. So essentially this one allows for compositions. And like I said, this interval of convergence is going to change. Instead of x being in the original interval, I'm going to need h of x to be in the original interval. So let's look at examples of these and see if we can look at combining them and figuring out the interval of convergence. For this, I'm going to start with a geometric series. 1 over 1 minus x is the summation from k to 0 to infinity of xk for absolute value of x less than 1. And we can double check this. Geometric series says that I could have r to the k provided r what had an absolute value less than 1. And it would converge to a over 1 minus r. In this case, a is 1 and r is x. So this does satisfy my geometric series rules. I now want to find the power series in the interval of convergence for x cubed over 1 minus x. So we start by noticing that this is x cubed times 1 over 1 minus x, the function we had originally. Well, 1 over 1 minus x is the summation of x to the k, so I can write this as x cubed times the summation of x to the k. So I have that this, this function is equivalent to the summation of x to the k plus 3. I do still need an interval of convergence. And my rule said whenever I did this and just multiplied for it by a power of x, my interval of convergence actually didn't change. So the interval of convergence is still the absolute value of x minus is less than 1. Let's look at another one of these. This time I'm going to look at x to the fifth over 1 minus x cubed. So for this I'm actually going to combine some of the rules. I can see that I'm multiplying by x to the fifth. However, I changed the denominator as well. Instead of 1 minus x, I have 1 minus x cubed. So I'm going to change my x to an x cubed. So I have the summation of x cubed to the k. Using properties of exponents, I get, now get that this is the summation of x to the 3k plus 5. I also need my interval of convergence. And this time it is going to change. When I dealt with this power series, I changed the x to an x cubed. So in my interval of convergence, I also need to change the x to an x cubed which in this case is still the same as the absolute value of x is less than 1. If I know x cubed is less than 1, then I also know x is going to be less than 1. Let's look at a couple more. This time I want to do x over 1 plus x to the fourth. Once again, I can see that I'm multiplying by x. 
And then I changed the denominator as well. Before I had one minus x, now I have one plus x to the fourth. So I changed the x to a negative x to the fourth. So I'll need to change the x in the summation also to a negative x to the fourth. We can see that we definitely did raise the x to the fourth power, and by changing from a negative sign in the original function to a positive sign in this one, that's going to indicate that I need the negative x to the fourth. Since one plus x to the fourth is the same as one minus negative x to the fourth. I'm then gonna rewrite negative x to the fourth as negative one times x to the fourth. From here, I'm going to start distributing my k exponent. So I have x times the summation of negative one to the k times x to the four k, which I can then rewrite as the summation of negative one to the k times x to the four k plus one. For my interval of convergence, when I did this, I changed the x to a negative x to the fourth. So I need to do that again on the right-hand side and make this for the absolute value of negative x to the fourth is less than one. Which if we try to simplify and reduce, we actually do once again get the absolute value of x is less than one. Let's look at one more of these. This time I'm gonna try to do one over x plus two. And this starts to look a lot different. It's okay for me to change the x to something since that's composition of functions, but I can't just change the one to a two. That would be a lot more complicated. Instead, I'm essentially gonna have to rewrite this as one over one minus something. And this works if I let that something be negative one minus x. We can now see if we simplify this, we would get one over one plus one, which is two, and then plus x. So these are equivalent, and now this one on the right-hand side is more in the form of what I do know the geometric series of. So I'm gonna change the x's to negative one minus x. I now have the summation of negative one minus x to the k power. And we can't simplify this particular power series anymore, but we can talk about the interval of convergence. Once again, I need to change the x to a negative one minus x. So I have this works for negative one minus x is less than one. And I wanna simplify this sum. This is the same thing as saying negative one is less than negative one minus x, which is less than one. I can add one, which gives me zero is less than negative x is less than two. And then I can divide through by negative one. Remembering that multiplying or dividing by negative numbers switches my inequality symbols, I now have zero is greater than x is greater than negative two. So the original series converged if the absolute value of x was less than one. However, this one converges for all of the numbers between but not including negative two and zero.